Good day. Your friend here, Ted Siuba, doing an author review of Performing Alongside Others Who Had to Drag Themselves Out of Bed, Volume 31 in the Sub 4 Minute Extra Mile series. And you can get your copy at thinkrich.com forward slash performing. Thinkrich.com forward slash performing. This title, by the way, is it's one that I really feel close to. It's got just a great collection. And, of course, you know, everything we do in the sub four minute mile is kind of capsulizes. It takes the training process, the motivation process, the goal setting process that Roger Bannister so well illustrates and he used so successfully to run the sub four minute mile. Trained, didn't have much time at all. He was a busy pre med student at Oxford University, neurobiology. 30 minutes a day, defied any conventional standard of training, not to mention going for that goal, was not, quote unquote, encouraged. He did it in short, regular, focused, intense, intended training sessions. You're going to get an example today. That's what we do in every single session. Every single volume has 19 training sessions in it to help you redefine personal possibility. And here we are. We always take a look when I'm doing a review at several different titles, at least the titles on the table of contents here. And, of course, we, I'm going to read, and we're going to read the title piece here, Performing Alongside Others Who Had to Drag Themselves Out of Bed. Out of bed. This one has so many good ones. What is a programming statement? What is today a programming statement? Very powerful. This one, look, it didn't even get noted, but the hard job of rebuilding miseducation profile on Malcolm X. You need that insight for your success. You shall recognize me. The enduring emotional attachment that comes from fixing with an oath to your, you know, definite chief aims. This is the same kind of thing. I will love one woman only. This, this volume is just so super. Go pick your volume up right now. Napoleon Hill, this is one you got to have if you're in business on the best profession for big success. Gee whizzies. A connect the dot story with you as lead character. This is vital for those who are wanting to get ahead. What, those who are wanting to distinguish themselves. What blossoms into world class excellence in your own backyard. And look at this. The problem with setting your sights too high. It's not what you think. Let's jump in. There's so much. You got to just pick the whole volume. That's for sure. But right now. Performing alongside others who had to drag themselves out of bed. This is another one of those discoveries proven in a university that makes such common sense that we did need a study to prove it. And that is, your daily dedicated effort is what propels you to the big time. It's your daily passion and what you're doing that drives you to put in more than anybody else would do that drives you to do the things that others flat will not and do not do. That orients you not only to do them and not to suffer, but also to gear passionately into doing them passionately well. Now, come on, friend. That's a formula for excellence. For instance, if you're a swimmer, you're up at 5.30 a.m., and that's not waking up. That's you're at the pool laughing and jostling with your buddies, joking about other people who won't make it up until a couple hours later after you've been stroking a pool for 90 solid minutes. That's in addition to the technique-specific practice you did. Then you went to work and school feeling fit, trim, vital, and energized. And you're performing alongside others who had to drag themselves out of bed. So that you turn into an achiever is not surprising. Other people say, Are you kidding me? These are the ones who show up once to that morning practice and swear 
I'm not going to screw up my life for this. You, of course, don't view it as screwing up your life. You embrace solid sleeping patterns. You willingly moderate your activities as, for instance, when you do imbibe, you do so in moderation. Neither drinking nor drinking to excess are part of your lifestyle. And you're feeling good at 5.30 in the morning. There's a distinct inversion of attitudes from what could be and what you willingly embrace. Add it up. These different aptitudes, approaches, and activities make you exceptional. What makes you exceptional is loving your daily dedicated effort, like the musician who plays scales. One says she plays scales ad infinitum. Another, ad nauseum. Is it surprising that the one who views it ad nauseum never develops to concert pitch. Those who enjoy scales, labeling the exercise ad infinitum, get lost in the scales. That they develop and turn into super musicians happens by itself. Truth is, they're loving what they should do every day along the way. The study affirms that kind of effort makes you exceptional. All right, folks, how does this apply to me? I think you know. I think you can figure out multiple ways. I think you can make your life, create your life, put a little passion on the things that you know that you should be doing every single day. And if you don't have the right attitude, screw it on. Get connected. Ted Siuba winding up the author review of performing alongside others who had to drag themselves out of bed. Thanks for being with us as we review volume 31 in the sub four minute extra mile series. Quick, go get your copy now at thinkrich.com forward slash performing. Hurry up, they might sell out. Thinkrich.com forward slash performing.